So here we do the back panels and stuff okay. for the power supply units, for example. Now we have some devices ready. And this is uh, the hands of a rubber bands. So this is aircraft aluminum. Okay. This is a honey. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, manufacturing of the pop screens here. So with the nylon mesh on it, which gets fixed there. Is it the same nylon as in, um, it's uh, the, the, the story of the nylon. The story of the story of the nylon is a secret. Uh, if you notice women on the street uh, with a cut out um, uh, nylon thing mm -hmm. here, where it's blank, then our people went and cut it out from there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice story. <laughs> And this is the, the, the secret worker, he, he, he works at night, okay. and in the morning all the microphones are finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, the, the housings when, they, when they're ready uh, to be assembled, mm -hmm. with all the head grills being uh, glued mm -hmm. in. So it is the famous Fantera. That's the famous Fantera and the famous Phantom. <laughs> yep. Got this furniture. Car. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's from Holland actually. <laughs> okay. And it was used um, in a uh, what's the word where they for the garment stuff, you know, where they collected all the knobs and yes. uh, needles and, and furniture. things. Yeah. And uh, now we use it to put our parts in here. So we have all the. Okay. Things that are ready, here's the, the suspension completely assembled and sandblasted and coated. So when they're all finished, they go here. Okay. And, uh, it's a nice nice uh, place to store. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's black one. That's the one in black, anodized. Oh, that's good. And then we have the, the, the stereo microphone housings that's here. Great. Also do the stereo version. So this is all made to fit within okay. with an angle. Yeah, so 180 degrees. So you can do X, Y, and uh, all sorts of okay. stereo coincidence recording techniques with the stereo. The finished windscreens when they're completely assembled. So they go all around the microphone mm -hmm. and they're acoustically decoupled from the microphone. So you can place people around it and don't have that funny windscreen in front there. Okay. That's very nice. Oh, this is the big suspension when it's completely assembled. With the big sturdy. Yeah lever here yeah many people don't notice that they can do this mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah they don't read the manual <laughs> <laughs> many people don't read the manual yeah. what i say is read the fucking manual yes 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 <laughs> uh, this i, I is was the, thinking about it this is uh, the raw parts when they come uh, from the plating so this is all wonderfully plated okay So we have all the the pre-manufactured housings yeah. here that the hands of the maestros put here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This old tube testing device. Just the basic electronic stuff. And the new lead-free soldering devices. <laughs> Rose compatibility. Okay. 
So it's all the green solder. Mm -hmm. Everything's getting green today. Something yeah. to badly squeeze fingers. And to avoid that, you need both fingers here. Okay. So, you know, it will not react with only one finger. You need them both. <laughs> this is where the head grills uh, are getting uh, manufactured. Okay. For the microphone, so the round shape and the, the usual okay. yeah. shape. And this is the uh, gold sputtering machine. This is how you get the gold onto the diaphragms. Okay. It's also vacuum technology. So when you close it, then there is a vacuum being made and uh, gas is being uh, bled into the chamber. And then you fire a plasma. Mm -hmm. And the plasma will then uh, hit the targets, the sputtering targets, and the gold um, atoms will be uh, hit out by the ions and they will uh, then settle onto uh, the diaphragm. Okay. This is how the gold comes onto the diaphragm. So that is the ASM5 surround microphone system. I developed uh, many years ago together with some friends of another German company. So this is uh, the LCR connection. Mm -hmm. You can angle the microphones and you can vary the directivity mm -hmm. of all the capsules and this is the surround things here. So okay. that's the spaceship. Yes. <laughs> we can do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so People can tell I'm a sci-fi fan. <laughs> um. <laughs> this uses to travel a lot. So and this is our this is our anechoic chamber. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone uh, can instantly know this is not an anechoic chamber, but it's mm -hmm. a uh, it's a chamber which is very quiet. Mm -hmm. Uh, when the out, uh, outside stuff is not running. And here's where we test all the microphones. Yeah, so we hook them up. Some of them have no capsule. Mm -hmm. uh, no capsule design. Uh, it's, that's a patented uh, thing where we uh, use a new air to electronic transducer. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm kidding. This is all. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Um, a dummy capacity to let the tube swarm up and then yeah. later when they're all burned in and then we uh, yeah. we put the capsule on here and we we listen to all the microphones and we do the tweaking inside the power supply you know and uh, adjust all the things and only use finest quality components here as well What kind of cables you use here? Uh, we use Vovox cables throughout the, yeah. the whole chain. Okay. So many people ask, of course, what is the main secret behind Braun microphones? And mm -hmm. it is actually here in this box. Okay. It's my mother's walnut cookies. <laughs> oh, yes. <Wait. laughs>